The teachers of Jamaica are committed to Jamaica, you know, and to our Jamaican people. Mr. Smith, the problem of teacher migration critical. What can be done to keep more of your teachers? Be us better. <laughs> but uh, be, uh, be, uh, <laughs> Damien, it's a question that you ask. And um, to be honest with you, when we sit down and analyze the, um, the payment system, looking at the skills that we have, you would find that, Damien, over the years, the more experienced teachers are the ones who are leaving. And there is a reason for that. As you move along the, 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 the line of gaining experience, exposure, exposure and qualification, at about the sixth or seventh point of the scale, applying Maslow's hierarchy of needs or the needs theory the, um, principle, you realize that the teacher at that time start to uh, receive what I call diminishing return in terms of compensation. The needs of the teacher after six, seven years post-college start to change and give rise to a greater economic drawdown on the resources gained from his or her uh, trade. As a result, these teachers start to look outside the classroom for better remuneration. And there are many in journalism, even as we speak today, who are very good teachers, but they are behind a microphone. And I'm using that avenue to earn more. And I'm not calling Damien's name. I'm just saying that teachers have left and have gone into journalism. It's not because we are not committed to Jamaica. It's because the funding, the pay, is not able to keep a teacher and to sustain that teacher, especially as that teacher advance in age, experience, and start to take on family. Many of our teachers in Jamaica today are um, operating as single parents. It makes it extremely difficult to own a home. So the teachers are leaving because they need to survive, basic survival. And I'm saying to us, it's not a lack of commitment. It's not a lack of dedication or, co or, or, or um, commitment to Jamaica, but the need of the teacher. We have seen teachers, they may have gone to schools and I've seen teachers borrowing money to pay bus fare to go home. We have wow. seen teachers complaining to me that their light is about to be disconnected because the, the money that they earn, having gone to college and is working, giving off their best, is not able to meet their basic need. We're not talking about extravagant living. We're talking about simply paying rent, utilities, transportation to and from school. So teachers are leaving the sector simply because they are not able to make ends meet with the salary that they are receiving now. While I agree on the, the issue of compensation, and you'd have heard the Minister of Finance and the Public Service talk at length yesterday about um, the plans for, um, for, the, for compensation across government. When we look at the numbers though, of teachers, we have about 24,000 teachers in the system. I know the recent numbers we looked at, um, 731 or 730 sorry, uh, or so would have left the system. That's less than 5%. And that gives us room to bring in new teachers into the system. So while I agree that teachers are leaving, um, it's, when you look at the numbers, it's not at the level that anecdotally people talk about a 5% turnover in the teaching sector. I think it's, uh, it's normal. Um, and you can compare that with you know, other, uh, other education sectors elsewhere, or even with the general economy of Jamaica. And, and I don't think that you know, this mass exodus that you often hear about, um, this mass uh, exodus either abroad or into other industry is happening. Uh, could it happen in the future? The future is uncertain and unknown, but right now the numbers that we have, that's what um, it's telling us that there is, I would think, um, normal turnover in the, the teaching uh, profession. Just to say to the nation, and you'd have heard from the minister, the teachers of Jamaica are committed to Jamaica, you know, and to our Jamaican people. So this idea in the media, and I'm getting a lot of calls from the media about this mass exodus, we are not seeing it yet. The future is unknown.